Okay, so what's up, girl? Are you on your Peloton right now? Uh, no, no, I'm not, but I'm about to hop. I, I even bought a like a stand for my laptop so I can watch my charts. I mean, it's not a, you know two screens, but it, it works. I got three screens here. So yeah, your BCRX, BCRX, and your AT. Okay, so we got a lot of people buying BCRX right now. Let's see if we got some movement on this thing. Tom just bought. This guy in the chat's buying it. If you bought BCRX right now, give me a one. Give me a hit me a one. Let's see what we got going here. Let me go to a, a day chart. All right, we got a day. See some volume here. All right, not that much. A little bit. Ten forty three. You guys buying BCRX right now? It's down thirteen percent. So, so you think today is a buying opportunity for BCRX? Absolutely, yes. I mean, just do your cost average add. I mean, if you believe in a stock, why not continue to add? You know, I have no problem. And as soon as I, I get some profit, I'm just gonna add it more as well. But we bought it at seven. We bought it at seven dollars. I bought it at seven. Why should I um, buy today? Because it's Very worth. Uh, it's completely uh, still under value. But was it overinflated? Yeah. Was it overinflated because the Wall Street bets guys got in it, or no? No, it's not at all. It was always under value. I mean, think about it. It's still one point seven billion. Uh, one one point seven billion market share as we speak. So it was. Um, it's still. Um, completely under value, but it was being pushed, kept pushed down because of the short selling, you know? Sure. So uh, I still think that it's worth the fifth today for sure, especially now that we're going to get the UK approval. All right. I think I may buy some right now. I think I may buy options though. I know you don't like options. I um, love options. I just, no, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm a little uncertain with the biotech options. I don't buy as much, but I bought, I bought some options for, uh, G as in gold, uh, T H X, because they have a Pidufa coming up, and I and I really like the, the the product. So I buy calls, but I I like to buy calls when there's actually a catalyst coming. You know, there's a UK catalyst, but I don't know how big of a catalyst that's gonna push the stock. But if you do like, if you do in the money, like for July, if you do ten dollar calls, it should be fine. I'm doing June. Yeah, June ten dollars in the money. Yeah. I think that's, you, what I, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I think you'd be but fine. I don't know if it's going to get executed because, um, but I need your help on something too. We just yeah. built an FDA calendar and I want to make you the managing director of it so <laughs> you can make sure it's like useful and all this stuff. Do you know what Slack is? Uh, Slack. No, it's, oh, it's a website, right? That you can share, you can share. Nope. No, what it's is not. It? No, I mean, I'm sure there's a Slack, like something called Slack or Slacker, but um there what i'm saying to you is is slack is the way we communicate at our company it's, oh. like, a, it's like an instant messenger and they're building the fda calendar right now and maybe you could like go in there and make sure it's good give feedback you sure. know like um because you're yeah i mean i don't know maybe maybe the fda thing becomes a real thing it's not yet i mean they're working on it it's not ready to it's not ready for prime time yet you know what i mean yeah, no, I can definitely, I can definitely. I know you, you, I know you use Biofarm Catalyst and you, you Google things and you look at calendars and all that stuff. By the way, guys, come on, give Vivian. She gave me BCRX, ATNX. They're both killer stocks. She's good. She may have another stock pick. Give her a dang like and follow her on Twitter. Aaron Bry, put her Twitter in here right now. Okay, please. Okay. Um, Aaron, I, I assume Aaron reached out to you today, correct? Um, yes, he did. No, you don't even know who that is. Okay. I have um, another. I have actually another pick of a stock for you I guys. Know. If you I know, but don't give it yet. Don't give it yet. We, they got to give you. They got to get you to two hundred likes, or they, they can't give your stock pick yet. So <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait till we get to two hundred, then you can get the stock pick. Um, Refined Warrior. Do you know Refined Warrior? Do you know Refined Warrior? No, I know what 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 is what is that? It's some person on this platform like she's listening to the show she's just a listener all right aaron gave your stock thing but are we we're not at 200 likes so we can't give her next stock pick because by the way guys 25 percent. could you just buy these stocks and be there all day every day i mean come on like look at that i mean i i my account i mean my account is up so much and she and she's part of it and you know i got in clsk because of you so it's not even just those two so I mean, you've printed me money. You've literally printed me money. I mean, I, I got to send you a check. You got to give me your address. I got to get you a check. You deserve a check. So, 
Um, yeah, she's she's Brazilian, but you, you don't speak Spanish, right? Uh, I speak fluent Spanish. Sí, yo puedo hablar español. Sí. Okay. Um, no? uh, Habla español poquito. Me uh, aprendo en la escuela cinco años, pero um, you know, um, I should have studied more. You know, I would love. Yo me encanta aprender español, um, pero no, uh, nunca, uh, no one to speak it with, I guess, you know? Sí, podemos hablar. No hay problema. Sí, yo hablo sí. español. Sí. 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 So, um, I talk very fast English. Los latinos and los cubanos. I talk very fast English. You talk very fast Spanish. At least it sounds that way to me, you know. Um, so that's that. But we, we, when we go on the Peloton together, we can talk Spanish. And then by the end of this year, I could be good at Spanish. What do you think? And that's one idea. Did you win a Peloton already? No, I didn't. I ordered it because of you. Remember? Are you such a BS? When is it going to come? Such you know what? they have they have already did you say i'm such a bser is that what you said <laughs> because you said you're gonna hop on it right now oh yeah I, but i am right a now. i am i am a b i am a bser that's true he, like this guy ian rosen who was messaging me he wanted to like call me and tell like tell me something and i'm like okay Ian, just come on the show you can tell me on the show he's like well it's private i'm like come on these days nothing's private right nothing's private everything's gonna be exposed and these days Wherever we at today, it's going to get even way worse. Every, you know, everything's Peloton, going to be Peloton is doing earnings today. I should have bought more calls. Peloton's think, earnings today? I think so. Are you sure? I'm almost positive. If it's not today, look at the Benzinga earnings calendar. Come on, is Peloton earnings to, uh, today, Randy? Randy? Of course, he's not at the news desk. I don't even know what to tell you. Um, okay. And people keep asking me about some stocks in the chat, and I'm going to answer you guys in a second. Okay. I know what you guys keep asking me about, and I, I've purposely not answered, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll answer. Okay, so just hold up, hold your horses. So what is the wait? Do we have two hundred likes? Oh, we got two hundred thirty three. You oh, can nice. so you can. Um, all right, so you can go for it. Go for it. Okay, so a company that I'm very bullish about it, uh, and I'll tell you, it's a great um, is a great opportunity to um, to be able to buy it today. And even if you don't feel comfortable holding to Pedufa, which is March second, that's going to be a nice uh, run up to it because you have uh, you know you have a still couple of uh, a whole month to to do it. And it's low float, so the float is small, so I can easily expect it to at least uh, be a double what it is. So the name of the company is KM, K is in um, Cali, M is in Mary, P is in Paul, H is in Herod. Say again, K, K what? K M P H. P H is in Peter? Yes. All right. Chemifar, okay. K M P H. This yes. is at 620, 6.30. Why, why do you like it? So it's, um, I used to promote, I used to work for Novartis and I used to sell a drug for uh, ADHD, which is Focalin XR. And so- Focalin? Uh, Focalin, Focalin XR. So that's long it, acting? Uh, it's just a, a, it's just a, a stimulant for ADHD. But what's, but, what's, but what's XR mean? You said Focalin XR. What's XR? Oh, X and release usually XR. That's what I said. Long acting. See, I knew my shit there. Okay, give me credit, guys. Give me credit. Give me like the ones I knew biotech there. Okay, Brent. So suck it. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So I don't have the numbers in front of me, but here's what I'm excited. They are. They have. They partner with another company called Corian. I think uh, I'm not too. So I don't have my notes in front of me. I wasn't ready to give you this uh, call, but they have a pro drug. So they made it that drug to be more long lasting and with the less side effects. So this is the first, first time after Vivance, which is a $4 billion company that they're coming up with something that people are actually, the specialists are actually excited about it. So it's a focal end, but on a improved version of it when you do in a pro drug. And um, they took all the Shire, all the executives from Shire and brought it over to the company that's gonna promote this product. So my only concern is, um, I'm, sometimes I'm really concerned about how a big pharma can play a huge role with the FDA. So I am not holding through the whole thing through March 2nd. I probably take my initial investment out and let it ride. 
So that would be my my only hesitation. But I think because the float is small, I think we can get a really um, we can we can really get a huge gains into March second because it is it's a less than twenty million uh, shares per float because they um, they are just they did an RS, but they're only at an eighty million uh, market cap. Not even that. So they're potential. I mean, there's just so much. Wait, room wait, it's only at eight. Hold on, it's only at an eighty million dollar market cap. Yes, because they I did, did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, guys, I bought yes. the stock. I did not know it was a small cap like that. So be careful on the small cap like that. I thought I saw I saw the six dollars, and I did not see. It's not OTC, is it? And so I figured it was I, a bigger market cap. I, I get. No. I, I, just, I don't want to move stock. Like I don't want me buying and trying to move stocks out of people. So. Guys, I did buy it, but I didn't know it was only 80 market cap. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, okay. it's small. It's small. But like I said, I am playing the run up to the FDA and then I'll probably take my initial investment out just because we're going after, you know, a, the big leagues. You know, Shire owns Vivance and is a $4 billion drug yearly sales. I'm a little uh, wary when it comes to holding um holding you know a small company like that through um fda i usually don't like to to hold through fda but i think it's a great opportunity to just ride the momo because it's a, it's a smaller float Got does it. that make sense yeah but here's the problem yes um the chart they don't like the chart oh yeah the charts doesn't look good right now so you can add it and then continue to add it. i don't think we we have it started yet to accumulate for the pedufa run you know run up so the chart does not look, I didn't even look at the charts right now. I would have just add a little and then continue to add. I usually don't look at a charts when I'm, I'm, I'm when I'm, I'm when I um, invest in long term. I just keep adding if it, if it goes lower. So, but I think by March, by February, maybe February 20th or even 15th, like two weeks before Pedufa, I think we're going to start seeing some steam when it comes to that stock. If Got that it. makes sense. Got it. No, it does. I just didn't know it's it's small. So how do you find a small stock like that? Um, like I said before, uh, a lot of times you find um, you find the small stocks that have some potential through uh, stock twits. Like let's assume I'm on a board of a BCRX and people there like say, "Hey guys, you like BCRX? You should check a KMPA or you should check TRVN." So that's how I find these uh, little tickers. Is sometimes a Twitter. Do you go, do you go to Twitter? Yeah, I, I'm on Twitter mo most of the time, but in people on Twitter sometimes will message me, say, hey, Vivi, I have this really good biotech. What are your thoughts? And I'll just do my own uh, DD on it. So um, that's how I think I stumble up on uh, KMP. Do you, th do, you think, do you think you're gonna go back to working full time again? That's a good question. I mean, it's- I, I always I, have good questions, just kidding. Uh, I, I don't know, cause the, I have a, I have some some stuff lined up for interviews, but it's not until start date May in July. And the more I make money now, the consistency that I make, um, I, I think the harder it's going to be for me to go back to work. Because I made a company W two last year just in one month. You know, you what? What'd you say? My, company, my whole W two is from last year in one month. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, girl. I mean, you can yeah. do that, and yeah. I don't know. So, it's, stuff but i do want you to see the fda calendar thing that we're doing um yes. because we're working on it um and um you know so yeah that's that's it whoa who's calling me oh it's not my, my phone okay yeah, good. so that's been a full time for me but i think it's gonna you know i think that was my calling when i got laid off you know it was you know because i took day trading more seriously so i have my long positions but i'm also day and swing trading you know so i can beat you know mr market so i don't have all my money tied up in long how do you know how do you know it's mr market versus mrs market i don't know okay um, good question now I, the the I, value investor book calls a mr market all right so now there is a question in the chat uh -huh. um danny dan says why is the stock down 98 percent it's like down from 12 to six because so, because they went through offerings and there's it's low float. When you have a low float stock, they're gonna have a huge swings. If you have a float of a 70, 80, 100 million, the stock's not gonna move as fast. But if you have a, a float of a less than 20 million, the stock is gonna, you're gonna have a big swings, of course, because okay. the float is it's small. 
Okay, and are you available tomorrow at um, what's a, what time? Um, probably like three o'clock tomorrow Eastern to host the biotech show. Yes, I'm available. All right, three p.m. Um, I don't know. I have to check with Mitch. We're going. We're I did I did eleven or twelve hours last Thursday. I brought on. I'm gonna name drop. I brought on Kevin O'Leary. I brought on Dave Portnoy, Barstool. Um, we broke the story on Webull allowing trade with Apex. I had the CEO of Webull, had the CEO of Voyager. We had like five other guests and it was it was crazy. It was six other guests and it was crazy. We went all day and tomorrow we're doing the same thing. We're going all day. We start, I don't know, not like, and so we have some holes to fill and we'll see how it goes. And you're gonna, we can work the name of the show, but the biotech, I just think it's easy to talk like this. We have to do these separate conversations. And not, like, I, like I said, everything's out in the open anyway. So why is it, you know, why can't we just talk like this? That's what I think. So, so you're, so I right, I wanna, what do you, uh, because I want to be prepared. If I knew I was yep. going to give you KMPH, I would have like gone with my numbers and tell you exactly so, why I'm bullish. Obviously I explain why, because of the product, you know, but I also, uh, you know, they're revamping their sales force and everything else. Everyone is really, really positive that it's going to be approved because it's already a pro drug of an approved drug that's been around for 20 years. So the chances of approval is it's really high. You know, we're not dealing here with the nasty side effects. No, I got it. I, I got it. I, I didn't know it was an $80 million market cap. I won't personally, because I'm hosting this thing, I won't normally buy those stocks. Yeah, and I'm when sorry. I'm when, I'm, when I'm live on the show, because I don't want, I never want to like people to think I'm ahead of them or anything like that. And if it's a big stock, it won't move. But on a small one, Benzinga, we have like, you know, we, the stocks move and I just never, I just never, you know what I mean? But it's, but it wasn't your fault. I'm, I'm just the fool that like didn't look at the cap. I kept, I, you know what I looked at? The first thing I always look at when I look at a stock, the first thing I look at, you guys are probably going to laugh at me, but I'll tell you, it's a good thing. I look up at insider activity, which isn't always a thing to, to judge a company on. This one had a ton of insider activity. So 620, 820, a bunch of insider activity. So I'm like, okay, I'm buying immediately. So I bought immediately. That's how I do my, my stocks. Now, having said that guys, Tesla, I bought many years ago. And if you look, it was all insider selling. So like, you know, Kimball Musk, Elon's brother is selling the stock for years, whatever. And that's just part of his plan. And so I look at that um, and that's this, you know, um, at, at the same at the same time, if we took we if we take about talk about Jack, Jack looks at small cap companies that have a huge potential. So it's all about value investing. It's all about to be able to to buy something that at the bottom before it's the, the market cap is too high. I mean, look at it, his uh, his X E R I. He said he'll continue to buy that up to three hundred million cap. And right now is what, 60 or 70 million cap, you know? So uh, there's nothing wrong with doing value investing, you know? Uh, it's sometimes you wanna find these companies before they, they, they blow up. Yep, so for the show tomorrow, what I would say is you, you go over a few stocks and then you have a Q&A thing and mm -hmm. people can ask you Q&A on biotech. And oh. if there's someone else you wanna bring on as a guest, we can, um, we'll handle all the technology the graphics will be fine. It'll get better over time, but um, we're going to go all day. And I think three o'clock Eastern um, is, yeah, that's something different, Luke. Luke, that's different. Um, so three o'clock Eastern tomorrow, uh, Aaron Bry will be in touch with you to give okay. you some scheduling, but it's kind of going to be a little bit um, raw. Uh, by the way, BCRX report reportedly is moving up. My The sadness with that is I put call options in. They haven't executed yet. So I didn't get a move on that. Let's see what you got. Let's see it. Let's see if he's right. BC. Oh, I typed in BRCX. That's my dyslexia speaking. Um, oh yeah, ten thirty four. Okay. All right. I'll buy a little more of the stock. All right. I'll be a friend. I'll buy more. I'll buy a little more. What's the spread? Okay. I'll just do a market order. There we go. All right. I bought. I'm now in more BCRX. I know I sold some, and that was me to me. So. That's it. So that's that's what I got. And then I okay. have to go over these other stocks with these guys real quick. So um, I'll see I don't know. You tomorrow at three. Yeah. Or you may not see me, but you'll see someone. OK. OK, cool. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Have fun tomorrow. Yep. Peace out. Bye bye. Okay, bye, Jason. Bye bye.